You still haven't told me what I've been accused of. Don't play coy with me. You know the new federal statute. Actually, I have no idea what you're talking about. Officer, you should know better than to interrogate my client before she has legal counsel present. Anything she has said up to this moment is not admissible as evidence in court. You didn't admit to anything, did you? No, I have no idea. Good. Officer, from here on, you will address all questions to me. You lawyers make me sick. Can someone please tell me what I'm doing here? That's a good question. May I see the arrest warrant? Knock yourself out. Officer, I'd like to consult with my client. Be my guest. Alone. Sorry, there is no way that will happen. What am I being accused of? Violation of the new Federal Hate Crimes Act. Hate crimes? I don't hate anybody. Under the new Hate Crimes Act, it's a crime to espouse any absolute standard of right and wrong behavior. The leftists are using the popularity of hate crimes laws to outlaw Christianity. They can't do that. They can and they did. The president just signed the new hate crimes bill this morning and you are apparently the first person to be arrested in this city. Do you have any idea of why they chose you? Yes. I. I didn't understand the reason for it at the time. But this morning on the sidewalk in front of my office building, a TV news crew asked a bunch of us if we were Christians. I was kind of proud of myself that I was the only one of the five of us who admitted to going to church. Well, according to the new law, it's not illegal to go to church. Only to be a Christian. Whatever you do, don't admit to anything. Let me do the talking. What's he doing with my purse? Do you have a warrant to search my client's purse, officer? Read the warrant, counselor. It says we have the right to search her personal possessions for evidence relating to the charge. Yes, here we are. Can he do that? Apparently so. What is that? My appointment book. My client is not admitting that it's her appointment book. Only that it resembles her appointment book. Yes, uh -huh, yes. Did you find something? Uh -huh. Good. My client is completely innocent. Not a single entry in this appointment book has anything to do with church or anything Christian. I thought you said you were a Christian. Don't you spend any time doing church work? Well, I... My client never admitted to being a Christian. She only admitted to going to church. It's still not a crime in this country to go to church. Well, if there's proof that she's a Christian, it'll be in here. What's that? My checkbook. My client is not admitting that that is her checkbook. Only that it resembles her checkbook. And does this resemble her name stamped in gold on the cover? My client is making no admissions of anything. Yes, I'm not. Did you find something? Uh -huh. Good. I told you, my client is completely innocent. Not a single entry in her check register either. I thought you said you were a Christian, lady. Don't you give any money to the church or to Christian causes? I. The word Christian means different things to different people. Going to church doesn't make her a Christian any more than going to a garage makes her a car. Well, I'll be. Not a single bit of evidence linking this woman with being a Christian. Then, I think it would be appropriate to set my client free. You're right, there, counselor. You're free to go. I don't know how to thank you. Don't thank me. I'll send you a bill. Oh, dear, I'm terribly sorry. There has been a dreadful mistake. Mistake? Where am I? 
You're just outside of heaven. You mean, I'm dead? Yes, you are quite dead. You died of a heart attack. And I'm glad we caught you in time. In time? In time for what? One of the other angels saw you on television. She brought you up to heaven, because she thought you were a Christian, because you said you went to church. But I am a Christian. No, I'm sorry, we already covered that. Covered what? Just before you died. It was clear, that there was no evidence, to convict you of being a Christian. But I am a Christian. I told you that? No, I'm sorry. I really am. But if there is no evidence of your faith on earth, there is no evidence in heaven either. I'm sorry. You're free to go. Free to go? Go where? I have nowhere else to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Based on the play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from performances. You may reproduce and distribute this script freely, but all copies must contain this copyright statement.